Do you want to be this tanky? Okay. Then watch till the end of the video. Yeah. Alright. Uh, just keep on me sometimes. Hi, uh, 1%. 2%. 1%. 1%. Okay. Okay. Keep. 1%. This? If you would have hit you three times, you would have been that, bro. But I do 20. Yeah, I 20 25. I, yeah. Oh my god, can he hit you? Uh, look, look! As you could see, I took about 1.5% of damage each M1 by a whaling, which is kind of crazy. I also did some tests with True Serum Spirit and did about 2% each M1. How I got to this level of tankiness, you might ask, is mostly because of my HPK and Charisma. There's also some other things I got, like reinforced armor, but that isn't as important. I will now explain why Charisma is so good and why it can make you this tanky paired with a good HP kit. So first, yeah. Charismatic Cast. This talent makes enemies do 10% less damage to you when they are charmed, which is just... So it's something good, it's, it's, it's nice. Second, Chaotic Charm. When you are low, they will do even less damage to you. Like I saw in the clip earlier, everything stacked up together will make players do practically no damage to you. But what I think is the most important thing of them all is the HP kit. If you don't got an HP kit, you just won't be tanky, even with all this shit. But with one, paired with all these damage reduction talents, shit can go crazy. Even with a build that don't necessarily have any good damage reduction talents, you can still be pretty tanky purely because of the HP kit. This is my HP kit, and as you can see, it's kinda crazy. So if you want to be as tanky as possible, always go 55 charisma on every build and get the best HP kit possible. But that is all guys, I just want to share some top notch information on how these grandmasters are so goddamn tanky and please don't forget to subscribe and goodbye.